Well, pickleball is now the fastest growing sport in the United States, largely thanks to it being a pandemic friendly game. Joining us this morning to talk more about pickleball is pro Jerry J. Paul, along with Ben Johns, the world's best pickleball player. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How are you? Hey, how we doing? Morning. Jerry, am I saying am I saying your last name right? I hope. Yeah, you are, Jay Paul, yeah. Okay, perfect. And so you are the pro out at the Santa Luz Club and pickleball I know has taken off recently. For those who don't uh, know much about pickleball, can you explain it for us? Yeah, absolutely. Pickleball has gone crazy, especially since COVID and everyone wants to play a little bit sports that are a little bit more safe. Um, yeah, for those who haven't played, it's almost a miniature version of tennis and badminton and ping pong all put together. It's a smaller size court, uh, size of a badminton court actually. And you can put four of those courts on one tennis court. Um, it's played with paddles and it's played almost with a, a slight variation of a wiffle ball. So um, a lot less space to move around, um, which attracts basically anyone. Anyone can really play the game and it's just taken off. And so you have a clinic on Monday nights, is it? Actually, we have a very special event tonight. So uh, thanks to Ben Johns for coming in. Um, he actually was just in Colorado last week and he's got a big tournament coming up this following weekend um, over in Orange County. And we were able to get him in to Santa Luz um, tonight uh, for a member um, special clinic. So, Okay, so that's him. happening tonight. Do you already have to have had tickets or is it any member can come? Yeah, it's um, so uh, for those who don't know, Santa Luz is a, it's a member owned community in Rancho Santa Fe. And uh, we just try to provide, you know, unbelievable experiences for our members. And uh, yeah, so the event tonight is only for members, um, um, but we're really excited to have them. Fantastic. So Ben Johns, that brings us to you. You are the world's best pickleball player, <laughs> correct? So <laughs> yes, that tell is us true. how you earned that title, because I understand you hold more triple crowns than any other male pickleball pro. Uh, yeah, so I guess um, pickleball has come into more of a, a kind of pro-oriented sport only recently. Just more than, uh, I'd say, three years ago, there was not really a pro circuit, circuit or anything really like that. But uh, in just the last year, since a little before COVID, there are two pro associations now that run tournaments. So it becomes a, a real possibility to actually play pickleball professionally. So yeah, I found it. Uh, I first started playing five years ago and um, I've been playing pro tournaments ever kind of since then, but it's really kind of come to fruition more in this past year. And I, I guess I've done a good amount of winning, which kind of earned me my, uh, my, my titles. So, so you have this triple crown title. So I understand it's singles, men's doubles, and mixed doubles. And this is a, a family affair for you. I mean, your brother is your doubles partner and your sister's also involved? Yeah, so um, basically a triple crown just refers to winning all three events in any given pickleball tournament. So, for instance, like if you play the U.S. Open or Nationals, those would be the biggest tournaments and winning a title there is, is a big deal. But winning the triple crown would be kind of the year. Uh, biggest achievement that you could get in the sport. Uh, and yeah, it is a family affair. So my brother played professional tennis um, for the last uh, five, well, five years until he was about 25 or 26. And he's 28 now. So I got him into pickleball a little over uh, two to three years ago, two and a half um, to kind of groom him to be my, my pickleball partner. Uh, so I had, I had a couple partners before that, but yeah, now it's, it is more of a family affair. So I'm partnering with him in the majority of my tournaments. And then I got my sister into, uh, interviewing pro players. So she's the interviewer for the pro pickleball association, the BPA. So she does the post game interviews. Well, you must be a good coach uh, since they're doing so well. And I understand you're still a senior <laughs> at the university of Maryland. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Finishing up my degree. I have one year left in the materials engineering at the University of Maryland. Well, that's fantastic. And so you are in San Diego taking part in this clinic. What's going to be your advice to the members at Santa Luz there? <laughs> yeah, so I have a couple sessions, a three hour for the more advanced players, the two hour for the more intermediate players. So it definitely varies. We go over a lot of stuff. But, you know, fundamentally, I think everyone enjoys playing the game and, and improving. So, you know, we'll be going over everything from strategy to mechanics of shots and, you know, kind of all over the place. So hopefully we can get these uh, players better at this country club. 
Well, that is fantastic. Thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoy it. Jerry, thank you uh, for, for putting this clinic on and putting this together. This is going to be this is going to be fun for the members. So I know a lot of people will enjoy it, but uh, maybe people can get in touch with you for some pickleball lessons. Sounds great. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Ben and Jerry. Love it. <laughs> Take care.